hey, this is Robert Nix here. I <coughs> so, talk to you guys about uh, the uh, Tory party and uh, so something I do uh, kind of have an interest in uh, help people from getting uh, short shifted by the states and uh, it's mostly high and stuff and uh, uh, it was over, and I really don't. I'm really not getting anything out of it. The Tory Party, in a like, material sense, is something I do for doing it, and uh, I really would like to to to, to, to keep an open invitation person to this. Uh, that you don't know who your uh, power is in the United States. It, 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 it actually is in your uh, freedom to vote at this time until that's uh, further restricted. And uh, I'd like to invite anyone to, to, to uh, view the possibility of uh, joining a being in the Tory party is welcome and that uh, you might as well think of it as a uh, pooling your uh, resources and uh, uh, helping yourself which is a few other people are going to help you and uh, it's not that who is it a Democrat or Republican or either one or both it's just that uh, at a certain point, the, uh, it becomes futile to try to make a lot more than someone else. For one segment of society to be out of scale with the other part of society, because the way the market is, that the higher paid part of society can afford the, uh, uh, the goods that's on the market, while the other part of society on the lower end of that scale uh, cannot. So actually it's not uh, just that that happened, uh, that that be out of uh, that that scale be too uh, far from zero on both ends. So one way to keep the market in, in a, in a uh, accessible to the uh, people on the Lower end of the scale, income scale, is to keep the income down, especially the state, uh, the taxpayers paying higher incomes to so many people than they themselves are getting. Whereas the people making minimum wage, they can afford uh, very much. So why sh should they pay up taxes? For another group of people to lay up in the bank and live a uh, higher lifestyle. It just doesn't make sense for these people. And though that might not always be to an extent in a free market society, one good way to hold prices down is not to uh, uh, pamper the uh, higher class. And that's because the market will come down of necessity to sell their goods to the uh, to the lower class and be more equitable to everyone because the higher class is never going to suffer whatever their point on the scale they're always going to be the higher class getting the uh, cream of society what what is on the market the trick is is to keep their income down so that the uh, manufacturing and retail sector discipline themselves. They're all disciplined themselves by necessity and get up and do what they have to do so that the people on the other end of the school can uh, access the goods and services without being uh, state subsidized so much. Because I assure you it's going to come to a, a, a run into a brick wall at some point where there's a certain amount of labor, a certain amount of goods, a certain amount of uh, 
persons do a certain number of things, a certain amount of people doing not doing that much except for being uh, customers or service providers. So all that's going to come to a major headache for somebody whoever's left standing at that point in time. And the uh, one bad thing about that is the uh, the people have a uh, in Washington and the governors and so forth. They've, uh, the you the citizens of the United States are uh, uh, basically like Adolf Hitler was talking about the uh, Aryans in Germany in the 1920s and 1930s and 40s that uh, uh, they'd been pawned out. They weren't ever going to get ahead. That uh, they'd been they would they were in so much debt they were never going to get ahead. And uh, when that situation happens, a lot of times it's when this dictator arises, and usually, most of the time, the uh, it'll come out of the need of the military to maintain order, so that even anything can happen, just like in the Roman Empire, when the three generals were fighting for the Roman Empire, Constantine uh, a triumph because basically because he was the last army to arrive in, into battle. The other two generals had uh, already went into battle and decimated each other. So that's how Constantine got to be the uh, Emperor of Rome, one factor. And then he had the major headaches of the, uh, of the Senate, the upper and lower classes of their, uh, of their republic. Uh, so that the way he saw that was he tripled, I recall reading, I think he tripled the size of the uh, houses of the legislatures so that they, they were, they were uh, less, uh, less, uh, competing less with the uh, Constantine, but even that, the main thing in the, the handout of the goods is what the government's about and the, for the defense of the uh, people engaging in those activities. So, <clears throat> it's far more equitable to, for the, the scale of all incomes to be close to the n zero on that number line than to have because the prices are going to follow the h people that can afford more. So, the, on the other hand, the people that can afford less are going to be further down away from the uh, point of excess in the uh, reasonable amount of goods and services for their incomes. Whereas, at the um, at the wages, the government wages of the uh, tax the taxpayers are paying were more in line with what they were make, what the taxpayers were making, the minimum wage earners, then the prices would have to come down by virtue of having to sell them to people, more people, to a h higher number of people making regular rates. So if you agree with that, I applaud myself, thank you. And my name is Robert Nix. And about standing in for the Tory party until someone comes up with some intellect that I can appreciate and wants to help. Well, thank you.